There's actually three different major meteor showers that occur during the year that usually provide a fair number of meteors crossing the sky. The one that we're probably all familiar with is the Perseid meteor shower in the month of August. But during the winter months of December and January, we have two of the strongest meteor showers of the year, the Geminids, which occur around December 13th and 14th, and then the Quadratids, which occur around January 3rd and 4th. So even though the weather might be colder, you might be in store for seeing some really beautiful shooting stars or meteors over the next little while. Most major meteor showers are caused by periodic comets or even asteroids and it just so happens that this particular Geminid meteor shower occurs due to the Earth passing through debris left behind by a very strange object called uh, 3200 Phython. This uh, object, it doesn't look like a comet, but it looks more like a rocky kind of stone in space, like an asteroid. So that's the parent body where all this material that we see passing through the atmosphere comes from and every time these comets or even this particular dusty kind of asteroid past the inner solar system, they leave in their wake a whole bunch of debris. And it just so happens that that path of the comet, or in this case the asteroid, it sort of passes the orbit of the Earth. So every year around this particular time, around December 13th and 14th, the Earth is plowing through this material and that gives us this yearly meteor shower that we call the Geminid meteor shower. So if you're looking for the Geminid meteors themselves, they'll appear everywhere in the sky. Now in the early evening, when the sun goes down, you can look for this particular constellation just rising off towards the northeast part of the sky. But by local midnight time, one in the morning, that radiance of the shower, the point where all the meteors are coming away from, from that point in the constellation of Gemini, is going to be right overhead. The best way of watching a meteor shower is really just to use your eyes alone. You're not going to be looking at any one area in particular because these meteors will be found streaming over the sky in every direction but always streaming away from the constellation of Gemini. So just find a nice location, set up a lawn chair, look up, don't use binoculars or telescopes, those are not needed for a meteor shower, and just look up with your eyes alone and experience uh, nature's wonder.